So, what is proprioception? P R O P R I O C E P T I O N. It is sensation or sensing the interior, inside of the body. Of course, it is always there. A crude version of proprioception is uh, sensing, feeling the pain, physical pain of cut or bruises or uh, the internal pains of uh, stomach or uh, abdomen and uh, muscles and so on and so forth. When you get on to a cycle and you have balance, it is, uh, it is the result of work on proprioceptive senses, which unknowingly happen in the activity or in the process of walking or in gymnastics or dance and uh, sports and so on and so forth. But at, uh, at a higher level, it is or it involves uh, directing your attention energy to feel every uh, every square inch or square centimeter of your, of the inside uh, uh, planet, inside the territory of your body, within the boundaries of the skin. You can feel uh, the inner skin is touched by the cloth, a major part of it, and you can feel even the air touching the skin, every part of the skin. There's, uh, uh, when you get experienced, like you uh, learn driving, as you get experienced, you don't have to look at uh, many variables. Or you see many things at a given time. But uh, this proprioception uh, requires uh, your energy of attention. The body, uh, in general, may lack uh, that energy of attention to be um, available in the required quantity to begin with. Those who get in the required quantity, they, they are the ones who learn everything fast. Psychomotor skills or, um, uh, or body activities or dance or gymnastics or sports or other things or karate and, uh, and also, also uh, learning processes, understanding, comprehension, the work of the intellect engines. As a, from the perspective of a GV yogi, if I say, uh, that is the problem of the eugenics. That means the, the, the type of embryo that happens to be inside the nurturing womb, so which makes all the individual differences. When every cat is a cat, when every bird is a bird, human beings uh, display great variation, the normal distribution. I am not concerned about I mean, or the external normal distribution of individual differences in structure, morphology, the appeal and all those things are less important compared to the process engine spirits. It has actually no correlation with the uh, physics, the physiology of the body. In fact, uh, a great lot of great philosophers, thinkers, uh, uh, magical individuals uh, have had uh, even uh, a very frail body and uh, even very, very serious illnesses of the normal kinds. But beyond the point, the attention of the engines, that entity, uh, become relatively independent from the conditions and variations of the body. In fact, the very purpose of attendant spirit tuning is to get out of the engines or the attachment with the body processes. So, not engines, sorry, body processes. That's why uh, so called Brahmacharya or abstinence from sexual activity or uh, luxurious food and luxurious, comfortable, pleasurable uh, living environments. These are all methods to get the atten at engine or that engine of attention more towards the attendant spirit than the physical body. But that is possible only, one can, only when one can transcend the uh, physical proper reception. You cannot jump across, you cannot bypass it normally. So this energy, what I understand is 
that energy is contributed by the degree of uh, or the integrity of erection of the of the penis of the father figure or the man i would see every human body is an expression of the of the uh, core principles of the core aspects core energy levels of the erect penis of the man at the time of uh, union at the time of ejecting the sperms so a great majority of modern young and in the children in the schools and the universities as they come across they are all very energyless people both boys and girls though they work hard and they sit till late night two o'clock and all that but their general energy levels are poor that any discriminating teacher knows even intelligent and sensitive parents also can know that precisely that is also due to uh, the modern generation of uh, men especially their uh, lack of interest or their lack of understanding about the sexual activity they are very much focused on their own orgasmic experience uh, engendered and reinforced by uh, the degree of frequency of masturbation plus other intellectual deficits so most of the time the sexual act is an egocentric uh, uh, um, something there is no attention flowing to the uh, to the details of the female so the visual sense of the feminine body becomes a trigger now is the man is not trying to cooperate or to provide uh, uh, the experience to the woman whereas actually the woman is trying to provide the experience to the man but oh so uh, perhaps uh, uh, the men developing that uh, wonderful aesthetically intellectually poetic approach to the feminine at least uh, during the, um, uh, at least during uh, 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 the 28 hours of uh, relative formation of the sperms and having that mindset of uh, you know like using a uh, veena or something like that you know you are contributing to the feminine body that should be the attitude then there could be a lot of energy exchange happening sir of course uh, uh, not ultimate uh, perspectives this are also possible in the huge possibilities of variations available in the nature process thank you